Rimac Automobili, a relatively young automaker from Croatia, has rapidly ascended to the pinnacle of the automotive world by pushing the boundaries of electric vehicle performance. Founded in 2009 by Matt Rimac, the company initially gained attention with the Concept One, an all-electric hypercar that showcased the potential of electric propulsion in a market dominated by internal combustion engines. However, it was the Rimac Nevera introduced in 2021 that truly established the brand as a leader in the hypercar segment. The Rimac Nevera, named after a powerful Mediterranean storm, showed the world the potential of electric powertrains. With the staggering 1,914 horsepower and 1,741 pound-feet of torque, the Nevera is one of the most powerful production cars in history. The Nevera's performance figures are equally jaw-dropping, with 0 to 60 miles per hour being reached in just 1.85 seconds and a quarter mile time of 8.6 seconds, as well as a top speed of 258 miles per hour. These numbers place the Nevera in a league of its own, outpacing many of the most revered hypercars with internal combustion engines. However, despite its groundbreaking performance, the Rimac Nevera has faced challenges in the market. As with many hypercars, production is limited and the price tag of around $2.4 million places it out of the reach for all but the wealthiest enthusiasts. Additionally, the electric hypercar market is still in its infancy, with buyers often more accustomed to the roar of a V12 engine than the silent speed of an electric motor. As a result, the Nevera, while celebrated for its engineering, has not seen the sales success one might expect from such a groundbreaking vehicle, or at least in comparison to its competitors. But Rimac has not given up. Enter the Rimac Nevera R, a more focused, track-oriented version of the already extreme Nevera. Unveiled as an evolution of the original model, the Nevera R shades any pretense of being a Grand Tourer and embraces its identity as an all-out performance machine. The Nevera R takes the power output to the next level, boasting an incredible 2,107 horsepower, an increase of 193 horsepower over the standard Nevera. This makes it the second most powerful street legal car in the world, trailing only behind the hybrid V8-powered Koenigsegg Camera in raw power. The Nevera R's performance is also nothing short of astonishing, with 0 to 60 miles per hour being reached in a mind-bending 1.74 seconds. The quarter mile sprint is completed in a time of 8.23 seconds, and even with all of the added aerodynamics, this thing still has a top speed of 256 miles per hour. These figures not only solidify the Nevera R as a hypercar of the highest order, but also raises the question of how much further electric vehicle performance can be pushed. But as you can see, when looking at this thing, she isn't made as a straight line monster. She has also been engineered for superior handling and track performance. You see Rimac has made several modifications to the Nevera's chassis and aerodynamics to ensure that the R version can handle the immense power it generates. These include a new aero package featuring a fixed rear wing, a large rear diffuser and a deeper front splitter, all of which work together to increase downforce and improve stability at high speeds. Additionally, the Nevera R is equipped with Michelin Cup 2 tires as standard, providing the necessary grip to harness the car's power. The suspension has also been retuned with more camber for better cornering, and the steering system has been refined to enhance responsiveness. Rimac has also introduced a new generation of carbon ceramic brakes with a silicon matrix layer, which improves stopping power as well as heat resistance. Now, the Nevera R specifications are undoubtedly impressive, but the question remains, will it be more successful than the original Nevera? Did they do enough to sway potential buyers? While the Nevera R is positioned as a more exclusive, track-focused variant of the Nevera, this could appeal to a different segment of buyers, those who are not just looking for a hypercar to show off, but are also interested in pushing the limits on track. However, this market is even more niche than that of the standard Nevera. Also, most people that are willing to spend millions on cars are petrol aids who buy cars that mean something to them. For me, for instance, 
If money wasn't a problem in my life, I would buy a 930 Porsche, a Supra, a Skyline, you know cars that I have admired since I was young. I wouldn't buy a Navira, no matter how good it is, according to the spec sheet. I mean when I start my modified cars and it shakes to life, I can't help but smile when I drive past someone and they almost lose their heads as they turn around to see what just made that sound. Go. It gives me joy. Every engine sounds different, drives different, and can be modified to suit what you want. And EVs just don't offer that. However, there is a strong case to be made for the Nibira R's potential success. This thing is undeniably quick, the design is spectacular, and if you are looking to have one of, if not the fastest street cars out there, the Nibira R is a good option. But at the end of the video, please let me know what your opinion is on all of this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably miss my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?